guys welcome back to whiskey and wit in today's video i am going to show you how i transformed a few different items i grabbed from clearance and from the thrift store into some cute affordable farmhouse home decor so let's get started first up is this frame that i found at goodwill I loved it because it had great bones, it just had a few scuffs, and I thought I really could make this into really anything. I removed the back and removed any other hardware I didn't want to use, I took everything out of the center, and then I took some just Mrs. Meyers general purpose cleaner and wiped everything down before I painted it with Waverly chalk paint. I like to get everything clean, especially when it comes from Goodwill, just because they probably aren't cleaning it, you know this. But then once that dried, I replaced the glass back into the frame and I used some Windex to clean that up. I flipped over the mat because I liked the back and then I took a quote from Joanna Gaines that I liked and I designed it in Canva. I will link Canva down below. I really love it. It's a really nice Photoshop alternative that you can use for free. If you like to design things for your house, they've got a lot of great free fonts, so I would definitely recommend it. Then I made sure that everything was lined up and finished it off with some tape so then that way the quote didn't move within the frame. Then to finish it off and give it a little bit of color since the whole thing is white, I took some lamb's ear that I had previously cut off a plant I got from Home Goods, and I took some hot glue and added it to the top as well as a little jute twine bow to really add to that farmhouse look. And I love the way this turned out. It looks like shiplap and it is the perfect addition to my new office area that I've been slowly but surely working on. And honestly, I love this Joanna Gaines quote and it makes me just remember to have gratitude something I'm working on for 2019. Up next is this cute little bunny. Now the eyes were super creepy to me, but I did think, I could totally make this into something for my house. It was $1.99 and it was such a great size so I decided to pick it up and I figured I could figure out something to do with it. So, so simple. I went through and painted three coats of the Waverly white chalk paint onto it and honestly you could spray paint this, you could use non-chalk paint, you could probably just use acrylic paint. This is just what I had on hand but I decided to go all white because I have some that look just like this from the Target dollar spot last year and they are just white bunnies and I thought this would be a great size. I knew this was going to be perfect for Easter so I love how the white just cleans it up and also then you don't have to worry about those creepy eyes that I was worried about but this is a great time to look at Goodwill for seasonal decor. Up next are these candlesticks. I grabbed the two in the front from the Goodwill and then the one in the back I've had from Hobby Lobby for ages and the two from Goodwill were $1.99. And as I'm sure you could guess the theme here, after I cleaned everything down with some multi-purpose spray from Mrs. Myers, I added three coats of chalk paint to all three of these. You could also do a gray chalk paint, you could do a lot of different options. And then I distressed them, just took some high grit sandpaper and really roughed them up so they had a rustic touch. I took one of the small ones and put it upstairs with my other frame and then I took the other two and put them on the side table in my living room. I added a tall pillar candle from Ikea and then the one on the taller stand is actually just an LED candle from the Dollar Tree. Now shifting gears, these signs I bought on clearance at Hobby Lobby and you can usually find these year round but especially after the holidays. This one was only $3.49 and I loved the wood frame. So what I did is I taped out the wood frame so that I could go ahead and paint it. I just took some blue painters tape and made sure it was up against the edge and it was easier for me to do this piece by piece instead of trying to take one large piece and wrap it around the outside. And then I painted it with three coats of Waverly chalk paint. It's going to depend on how dark the bottom layer is. Once you paint, remove all of the tape. I used Canva again to use similar fonts that I did on my other frame to make a decal. And then I just apply the decal with some paper-based transfer tape.
And that was it. I love this saying. I've wanted a sign like this for a while. And I was so glad I was able to just make it myself for under $4. Honestly, nobody would guess that you DIY'd that for so cheap. Another sign I found on clearance at Hobby Lobby was this palette sign. And I looked at it and thought the bones were amazing. And it was only $3.99. So obviously our last name does not start with an N, so I wanted to first cover that to give myself a blank canvas. So I think I needed to do about, I'm going to say three and a half coats of chalk paint because really the whole thing needed three coats, but then I had to add some more to the different areas that were darker. Once I did that, I went through and created a stencil for this one as well. This one was Thomas Rhett inspired and it said, all I need in this life is your crazy love. I created it using Canva again, which I love Canva. This video is not sponsored, I wish, but it is an amazing tool for designers. And then I just lined everything up, used that paper transfer tape from Expressions Vinyl, which I'll link below, all my favorite vinyl supplies. And that is so easy, you guys. I love how this turned out. I love this song. It's Die Happy Man by Thomas Rhett. If you're not a country fan, it's still an amazing song. And I love how it looks in my living room debating on whether to leave it on my floating shelves or to put it in my new gallery wall which I'll be sharing with you guys once it's complete nonetheless I got this great palette wood sign for less than five bucks so my best tips for you is when you're looking at the thrift store be sure to look for things with great bones things that you can cover with paint and transform and also for clearance, if it's not the look or feel that you're going for, always think of how you can transform it. As always, thank you so much for watching. Be sure to hit subscribe down below so you don't miss a future Whiskey and Whip video, and I will see you guys next time. Bye!